Nettoyage Diamant, high quality cleaning service of residential, commercial and industrial properties. Thank you so much for your sponsorship and thank you so much to Anthony Paterno, founder of Nettoyage Diamant. If you would like to take advantage of this amazing high quality cleaning service, you may do so at 514-686-1581. You may also contact them at Nettoyage Diamant on Instagram or on Facebook. And now, back to your episode. Hey guys, welcome back. It's another edition of Sessions with Steph. This is the first of the mini summer sessions, we're going to call it. So in the summer, we like to take a little break from the regular podcasts and uh, do something a little different. A, because it's summer and everyone's on vacation, so we don't want to bother people and have guests. So we take a little couple week break. And myself, I take a week break as well, uh, or two, uh, I'm not going to lie. I took a little cruise here and a uh, seven day cruise based out of Miami and I'm loving it, it's a great time. And I figured I would do a, a mini session with Steph on the music on board because oh my God, there's not like just one or two acts, there's multiple acts going on at the same time. And I said, hey, it would be pretty cool to feature, to, to showcase what goes on on a cruise ship, uh, what kind of different acts there are, uh, big shows, small shows, little jazz ensembles, uh, piano duos. I mean, there's tons of stuff going on. So I figured I'd do a nice little mini session showcasing what happens. And, uh, you know, hopefully you guys like it. It's a little something different. And, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to try and give you a taste of what it is uh, instead of, you know, talking about someone in Montreal or, or at wherever it may be. Uh, you know, take a little break from that during our summer session and, and do something a little different, get a little different perspective on other musicians. I wish my goal was to actually um, speak to some musicians on board, but with this ship, I honestly had no access to uh, speaking to them. I did speak to one, a Brazilian dude, but he didn't really speak English very well, great piano player, uh, but I, you know, I spoke to him quickly and uh, I realized that uh, he didn't speak English very well, so I figured that'll be a hard interview. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around the ship and show you guys some different acts that are, you know, going on at the same time and uh, try and give you a breakdown on how it would probably work on a cruise ship. I'm sure there's other guys who've done it in the city um, that would better tell us how it works. But I mean, I'm going to just showcase what type of musicians there are on the ship and what type of entertainment. Um, also, next week or the week after session is going to be based out of Miami because I'm going to be spending a week in Miami. So I'm going to try to get as much music as I can in Miami and that'll be the next session if I'm able to get enough and maybe hopefully speak to some musicians and see how it's like. Maybe You never know, maybe Pitbull might be in the area and he might want to come on sessions with that. Just kidding. But you never know. I am in Miami. So guys, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to start you know, going around and I'll come back from different spots of the ship. Maybe I might come back to this. This is so much fun with the water behind and uh, I'll showcase some, some of the talent on the ship and uh, yeah, talk soon guys. I hope you enjoy the podcast.
tradition with uh, yeah you know a couple of gin tonics and tequila I mean I'm close to Mexico here so the tequila just flies everywhere so yeah I definitely uh, got a chance to check out uh, four piece uh, you know he, he crooner singer uh, which you saw he sang great I mean the, the musicianship was very good um, it was a really cool vibe on the ship they, they, they got there they spoke to the crowd uh, and they played a bunch of standards. It's all standards, a lot of it, uh, you know, a lot of Frank Sinatra stuff. Uh, but also they showcased uh, the musicians as well. They all took solos, um, uh, you know, again, always in the jazz format, uh, crooner and jazz. So it was, it was good, super nice. I spent a good two hours there watching, watching them play and they were really, really good. Great musicians, uh, you can tell that uh, they're you know highly trained and used to doing it. And I don't know how long they've been on the ship, uh, but they sound good. They sound tight. Every song is uh, well arranged, and uh, yeah, so you saw that it was, it was pretty cool vibe. Depending on what you're looking for, if you just want to have a nice drink, sit down and relax, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, this this lounge on the MSCC shore is, is pretty awesome. I can't remember the name of the lounge because there's way too many, but it was a nice room and uh, and a good vibe. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna go check out another one now. Okay. I'll get back to you guys soon.
ahead, I'm back. I found another spot here, top deck. I'm cooking in the sun, but I wanted to make you guys feel at home. Sessions with Steph always features some alcohol, so I figured for you guys, because I know you're used to seeing it whenever you watch this uh, Sessions with Steph, you always see some sort of alcohol, and I said, you know, you guys need to, there's gotta be a pattern here that, 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 that stays consistent. I know it's not the regular set, which of course, you guys are gonna be seeing a new set soon, because we're working on a new place for Sessions with Steph, for of course, our sister podcast, uh, Let's Talk It Out, which is Lisa and Francesca. Um, Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this last little show that I saw. I, well, I found this room. Uh, first of all, cheers. Like, very important on a cruise to keep uh, well hydrated. Um, and the crazy thing, you know, the ship is massive and there's um, speakers all over the ship. So you hear music at all times. So whatever you hear in the background is the ship's music that's playing. And then when you walk into certain rooms, there's a, a band playing or whatever. There's always music happening. So last night I walked into this. Well, you are, you saw it. You saw that room, like a super beautiful stage. Um, they had, so it was kind of like a talent night. So they had a band playing. It was a four-piece band playing some more up, uh, up-tempo stuff, uh, some popular music, of course. Uh, you know, hitting Stevie Wonder, touching, staying, uh, the police. They're playing some rock stuff. They played some Queen. They played all kinds of stuff. Uh, and it was like a crowd interaction. So uh, it featured a really good singer. The guy was really good. I found he was a little bit uh, too hyper. Um, not when he sang, but when he spoke to the people, he was like super into it. But really good singer, great vocalist. He hit some really high notes. And what they did is the singer would sing like six or seven songs. Then the band would play, you know, one or two instrumentals to give him a break. Um, and the instrumentals were a lot of standard stuff. Uh, they would play some some song. You know, I'm, I'm not going to show you the instrumental stuff because it's always better to hear with the vocalist. But they were really good. The uh, you know guitar player would take a melody, keyboard player would take a melody, and they would trade solos back and forth. Uh, very good band. The the uh, so that was the Brazilian keyboard player that I spoke to quickly, and he mentioned that bass player and guitar player were from um, oh my god, I think it was Colombia, and then uh, the drummer was from Italy. Uh, anyway, good band. They got together. The singer really sang well. And they had dance shows. So they had dancers come in. So the band would play a couple of instrumentals. The singer would sing five, seven songs. Then they would come and have a dance show. A couple would do a dance show. And then the band would come back. And this, they do this for four hours every night in that beautiful room. So it's a gorgeous room. Um, and always a variety of music. So it's pretty cool. They have different singers that go. Always that same band, but they feature different singers. From what I hear. Anyhow, guys, if you hear a lot of wind, it is because I'm on the top deck and it might sound windy. I apologize for that. I'm trying here, but uh, it's all good. So, yeah, let me see what else I can go find and uh, I'll give you more of a review. All right.
so yeah, another I'm on another top deck here, and uh, a pretty cool band that I, I mean band, it wasn't a band, it was dueling pianos, which is, is a lot of fun. Uh, on other ships, they usually have like a piano bar that you go and you sit ask requests and, and a guy will, will be playing and singing all night long well here on the MSC what they do is they have those uh, it's a dueling piano but they play together so basically they sing in harmony as you saw and that's usually every night uh, in that main area for I think they're there like for four hours and and they they keep that going I think they're they're there from like four o'clock to like eight o'clock, nine o'clock is then after in the atrium, there's another duel that takes over and you'll see that. So it's sometimes Latin, sometimes it's pop stuff, so it keeps changing, but uh, a pretty cool piano dueling. I believe she sounded like she was from England when she spoke and I don't know where the guy was from, but they have really nice voices. They play, uh, they sing a lot of songs in harmony and they uh, uh, they play piano together. One's doing chords, one's doing like melodies and stuff, uh, but it's pretty cool. They sound good together and it's a nice vibe. As you're walking by, you can actually sit down and have a drink there as well. So uh, yeah, nice little vibe, uh, different from a, a, a show or, or, or a sit down place where they have a, a showcase band. So it's pretty cool. Uh, let me see what else I can find. get some cover here because a little bit of rain coming down it's okay because I can have another beer so I'm good here uh, and we can go inside and check out more things to do there's of course a million things to do on a casino uh, in a casino on a boat of course there's a casino and there's tons of games there's a there's a huge sports bar so yes I'm catching up uh, I caught up on my hockey uh, playoffs and of course the Euro Cup going on at the same time so I'm checking all that out in the sports bar uh, but yeah, so I got to watch, well, I mean, I keep going to the shows every night. They have big theater shows, uh, usually productions. I didn't take much video up until now because, it, you know, it's a lot of singing and dancing, but mainly dancing. Uh, but last night they had a show called Divas, Total Divas or something. So I figured I would take some footage of that because 
it's there's dancing of course but it features more singing and i found that one guy with the mustache had really really oh hi i got some friends here coming in oh there you go um so yeah i, uh, I found that one guy that, that you just saw the video had a really good voice i don't know where he was from it might may have been from um, uh, some european maybe italian or romanian that kind of vibe uh, when he spoke he sounded like that but his voice is amazing you can tell he has opera lessons sounded great the show was good i mean they, it was called total divas and they all did you know famous women in music uh, of course, all the Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, Shania Twain, all of that stuff was covered. But I found this guy really had a good voice. And, uh, and, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. So pretty cool. I'll be back with one more, I think, one more. Or maybe two, I'm not even sure. Anyways, I'm just enjoying the music. So uh, see you soon. <laughs> many of those gigs and those guys are right in the middle of the ship not every night but they're in a different spot I think they play every night because I've seen them in like different rooms but the last couple of nights they were in the main lobby which you can see them from every floor and let me tell you there's 20 floors on this ship it's a massive ship but that's the main area where you saw they kind of have a stage it's really cool and that's why I can't speak to them because I have no access to the stage and when they take a break I can't go see them so I would have loved to have spoken to them but it was fun for me because that's all the material that they play like I play three quarters of those songs because they're famous Latin songs and, and when I play with uh, with the Latin band they, they uh, those are all the songs you know all the famous Latin tunes they play them all and, and, and so do we so a lot of fun uh, you know, watching how they cover it, uh, they seem to be Latinos, it's quite obvious. Uh, they sound good, you know, it's a, it's a duo, of course it's tracks, it's not all live, but it's fun, it was, it was pretty cool to see, and uh, they get the people going, the people love their music, so they were quite a hit, and uh, hope you enjoyed that. I want to see you, I want to hear you, MSCC, show how you ready! So, of course, I have.
had to just throw in like the wildest um, pool party they called it. It was a party in white. I was the only guy in black because I didn't read the memo, I guess. But I, we walked in there and there was a pool party going on at night on the top deck. Pretty cool to be in the middle of the ocean with a DJ and animators, you know, pumping out music and hundreds if not thousands i don't know how many people were in that party but it was really cool everyone doing dance moves i figured i'd show you i know it's not live music but uh, it was pretty cool vibe and i said you know what let me take this footage it's like it was uh midnight or something and that was going on and it was a lot of fun um to be to witness that to see all these people on the top deck in the middle of the ocean jamming out and having a good time so guys i hope you enjoyed this little mini session i definitely enjoyed doing it it's fun covering music in any sense so i figured it's a little twist um of course i'll be back soon in a new location with the regular sessions with staff we're gonna have some great guests coming out uh in, in now and in the future well not now but when we start back uh with some new new guests some old of course i keep updating as you can see i have guests on because I like to update I like to keep uh, people in the know I mean we're trying to support local music we're trying to get musicians uh, a chance to show their stuff and if you guys like any of them support them follow them it's great that's the whole purpose of this podcast I mean that's besides me having a drink and enjoying to have a drink with some buddies and are not buddies with musicians and talking about music and laughing and having a good time so hope you enjoyed this little mini session I'd like to come out with another one in Miami let's see I'm not there yet but when I get there I'll see if I can put together a little podcast and uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll talk soon guys this session or let me say mini sessions with Steph is now done